Hello, my name is Dan Marler. My aim today is to talk with you about bevels and edges. If you're new to turning, this might help you make better cuts. If you've been turning for a while, you may know all about this. But stay with me, because I'm going to show you some pictures of cutting tools up close and personal. Um, several months ago, I attended a demonstration by Eric Lofstrom, and he told us that we could use his descriptions if we gave him credit. So credit to Eric. Uh, I want to go over with you how to stand at the lathe and how to hold the tool. Eric's idea was to stand with your feet shoulder width apart and since I'm going to go toward the camera with the cut I'll angle my left foot a little toward the camera and then I'm going to hold the the tool by the handle and hold it up tight against my side the other hand at the, at the uh, cutting edge and on the, on the rest, now I'm going to hold my arms in tight against my body and flex my knees a little bit. And the idea is to sway your body to make the cut rather than use your arms. You have more control that way. What you want so, to do is start with the bevel, that's the uh, area behind the cutting edge, and that's what you grind to sharpen the tool. You want to hold the bevel up close against the uh, wood and fl flat against the wood and then rotate your body just slightly counterclockwise. See if I can get an angle here to show that. You want right, to rotate just slightly, I'm sorry, clockwise until you open a little gap between the bevel and the wood right here. It's very subtle. It's not very big and then you pick up your cut and go along and um, make shavings. So, um, without further ado, let's make some shavings. I'm going to start the lathe slow and work the speed up. This piece has been on the lathe, so I'm pretty sure it's not going to fly off at me. And I'm going to turn at about 1500 RPM. Okay, assuming the stance, notice that the angle of the, the, the tool is at an angle to the wood as well as being at an angle this way. Okay, it's making a pretty smooth cut. I think you can see that. Shut the lathe off so that I can show you exactly where the cut's being made on the tool. It's just right in this curved section here. Since it's at an angle to the wood, it makes a knife cut rather than just bowling its way through the wood.
Thank you.